All right, you're looking at everything that you're going to need to make a small electric motor at home. Uh, starting with the styrofoam, you can use any type of styrofoam you have laying around from packages or whatever. Uh, but you need a little, at least a little rectangle of it. You're going to need a battery. D-cell works well because it uh, lasts a long time. You're going to need a magnet. The stronger the magnet, the better the effect's going to be. You will need two paper clips, unbent, as you can see. You're going to need some thin wire. This is 26 gauge. Uh, 24 gauge would probably work a little bit better, but you want to keep it uh, real thin so that you can coil it easily. You're going to want some stranded wire for carrying the power from the battery to the paper clips. You're going to want a uh, little bit of straw to stabilize the paper clips, and you want some sandpaper for removing the uh, magnetic shielding from the wire. You can use any shielded wire, uh, like I made another one out of a uh, different wire I had lying around, uh, but this a wire works nicely. Alright, let's start by making our coil. Move the rest of this stuff out of the way, and now uh, we'll get to it. So, coil, start with, you're going to want to leave yourself a nice little bit off the end there, uh, which you can always tuck in a little bit later. And you're going to use your straw, and you're going to wrap this around your straw real nicely. So, here I go. Twisting, 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 twisting. There we go, alright. Now we slide this off, and we have ourselves a coil. Alright, let's wrap this guy up. You're just going to take your ends of your wire there and thread it through like so. Go the same way with both pieces of wire. So whether you go over or under, make sure that the wire is coming out on the same side. Otherwise, uh, it'll be a pretty lopsided little motor. Over, you're going with your winding. And you want to go the same way with both wires. Uh, it is easier at this phase if you make your coil a little bit larger. Uh, that would necessitate something like a empty toilet paper roll or something like that, uh, which I'm sure an industrious person could uh, come up with. So what I'm doing now is just sizing this to what will later be uh, my uprights. You don't want it too wide because what you're going to do is you're make little uprights out of your paper clips and uh, rest the motor on that as you saw. So in fact the one in the uh, demo is slightly larger than this. There we go, perfect. And here and voila. Alright, we got ourselves a little coil. Alright, I got you zoomed in on the little coil here. Uh, in, or, in order for this to work, you have to sand the uh, enamel or the coating off of the wire. Uh, if this was coated, if this was coated in rubber, you could just strip it uh, like this here. This particular type of, type of wire, uh, you're gonna have to sand off. So that's where the sandpaper comes in, and you really just want to sand the heck out of this. Uh, I have already sanded these down, so they work. Uh, you can see how they're a different color. Sorry, I'm just zoomed out here. Uh, this is uh, kind of a reddish orange, and this is more of a this is more pure copper. So uh, once you're down to the pure copper, you know you're good to go, and you want to sand it all the way back to where the wire contacts the coil on both sides. So that way, if it moves around a little bit, it doesn't lose contact. And that is how you sand the coil. This is a essential step. The motor won't work without that. Alright, we set our coil aside, and now we're going to need to unbend our paper clip. So if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, you take a paper clip and simply open it up like so. And that's what you're going to have. Then you're going to want to take your uh, paper clips and you're going to put them in your foam. Like so. You can push them down all the way to start with, um, and then back them off later. Although 
technique is <laughs> up to you. All right, so you put the straw through and that stabilizes them. You're also gonna wanna make sure that pretty level. So you're going to kind of get down on their level if you can and see that they are not crooked. And you put the magnet in there eventually. Uh, you're going to want to take your wire at this point and you're going to put it around the base here. Like so. And then you do the same on the other side. Twist it around nicely. And then if you got any extra, just make sure it's sticking to the outside rather than the inside because you don't want it interfering with anything you got going on here. There we go. Put your magnet in here. Now, if you find your magnet is going too strongly for your uh, paper clips, you can wrap a rubber band around it. All right, so now you've got everything more or less set up. We're going to introduce our coil. Coil. I'm going to bring it down so that it's closer to the magnet and we're going to give it some juice here. There you go. Woo! It gets bound up there, but uh, there you go. You can see that uh, you run a little bit of uh, electric electricity through it, a little bit of juice, and it uh, becomes magnetized and uh, flies away from uh, that other magnet there. There you go. Very satisfactory little electric motor.